Okay, my friends, Roger once again, and we are going to be talking about how you can go out and identify what these things are. You see these giant megalithic stones? They're all talking about them all the time. We're going to look at them really carefully and examine them and how you can tell what they are. Where did they come from? Well, I can tell you what they are. They are biological, and I can make that statement and then I will tell you how to make go out and make that assessment on your own. So let's look a little bit deeper. But we are going to be seeing fabric. Fabric, just like that. I hope you can see that. Let me get a little bit of light on here. You see that red looking color? That's blood. The black is also blood, only it's already got its oxygen used and then the white is the fibrous um, collagen keratins keratins you see that flat surface there my contention is and this is no question this is the lung it's already been DNA certified it's been I mean there's no question what it is it's been tested in every every way anatomist the whole nine yards my contention is that all of the things virtually that I will show at any rate are from the great flood where everything was soaked in salt water. That's the key. Salt water is what preserves flesh. And it destroys bones. This is a bone. Well, when I say it destroys them, it transitions them. See, that turned into what you would call mud. It's not mud. It's 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 flesh that has stabilized in watery solutions and you know it's turned brown that's just what happens to it and that there's a tiny piece of the see that little spot that's the bone that's what's left on the bone I have another one that here is a toe this is a toe turned completely metal and all that's left is that spot right there of bone and that's where the blood the last of the blood ran out on the toe when they die downwards like this and this is the lowest spot the blood will run out through this lowest artery and eventually it will the, the metals will collect at the final discharge point. And that's it. This is a toe. And I'm 100% certain it's a toe. And that's the, bl the bone right there. And uh, I mean, I have so many examples of this. Uh, um, so anyway, I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to tell if this is the fabric that I was showing you, because they all have it, even even this goose, I guess it's a goose, it might be a duck, but you see the feather pattern up there? When I show you this in the microscope, it's exact same as the pleura of the lung, as the fascia that's on every part of your body. And I have uh, this here, that's, see that's fascia, you see that? The white fascia that's the stuff you cut off your meat and you don't want to eat it if you're not a vegan. Well I'll tell you it's a lot of darkness in there today. There's the the meat and there's the uh, fascia. And what this is, this is a special type of molecules. And they, uh, you know, you can, I know the chemistry of them, but there's no, that's not important for you, but they're a different, they're totally different than the flesh that um, it has a different job. The flesh is, is normally there to do some form of work, you know, muscles, basically, where the, the fascia separates layers of tissues from other layers. Basically, that's its primary job. It's also there in lungs like this, where this is this is nothing but 
but fascia that's it's not a coating of fascia it's just a big blob of fascia with a bunch of holes through it and this fascia that's in here is is little structural fascia like the coating of the lung only it's the coating around every one of these holes and there's so much of it it constructs the entire lung that's probably a better way to say it it's just so much fascia 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 until you end up with this all right instead of something like this where a fascia coats and inside is nothing but lung which is all your, well, I, I, you know what's inside of a lung. It's got all these little tubes and little, well, here's one over here. Hold on. All right, this is pretty much close to what is inside of a lung. Once you, well, it is what's inside of a lung. Once you take the pleura coating off, you see all the little round holes there? Those little circles? Those are the alveoli. And you see all the little blood spots? This is where the red blood is. Now this side here, I don't know, a diet laying like this. You see that? Just like that. The blood ran down here. See? Anyway, and, and this was in a different, a different condition than, than this one. Alright, this was more in a condition where it's probably in some thick, thick mud. This was in like a river area where the guy's body eroded away and then this part eroded away and it got down to where it stabilized and turned. This is, this is um, quartz. Pretty much your, your bodily fluids, which this would have been pretty much bodily fluids inside of here. Is, that's 90% bodily fluids, you know, blood. And it seems that those turn into quartz. Uh, now, I always thought they filled with quartz. But now I'm starting to think that some, for some reason they turn into quartz and this left this little bits of blood along with it. But I can show you, well, I will show you. Hold on. All right, I told you gold runs down. It's heavy. This is blood. This is gold. This literally was like this, probably. This is obviously was up higher than this. It's just the way it works. Now, in addition, and, I, and again, I think I showed this. This is my toe, which is just a, a, a toe. And there's the blood. So this was down this way, and that's where the blood ran out. Now, I want to show you something that's extremely interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see. You can see this. All right, you see that little ball right there and that little rib ball right there? That's from a fingertip. That's the blood vessel that runs out the side, the, the vein blood, which would be like the, similar to this. I mean, this, I, is, I believe, is a toe. But it would be similar to this. All right, now, and that's the bone on this one. And that's where the blood ran, ran out. Now, so remember this. Hold on. All right. <laughs> that's a gold fingertip. <laughs> and that is the blood vessel sticking out the side. That's the apical tuft. And these are the pads at the bottom. Identical to this. <laughs> Only mine's not gold. Same same blood vessel sticking off to the side. Only maybe it's a left finger instead of a right finger. Those two little balls at the bottom. Those are the balls that are, that are at the bottom of a bone. You can feel them on your own bone. Now, these are the bone is not going to turn into gold exactly like this structure is exactly. But most of it did. All the flesh did. And that's just the way these things work out. And that, at the very end, you see at the very end, it's an apical tuft. And the humans have the biggest apical tuft of all the primates. There's another fingertip, and it did in a different way. See, this blew the blood out there, same as, you know, blood ran out through the end. But this was in some kind of different chemistry. 
the plug was, e I mean, the gold was either leaked out somewhere else or leached out or I don't know what. There's a million things we have to study about this. Now here's a toe. Here, this is a, to a, a finger, a tip or something. Now I'm going to show you. This is the blood. You see blood, blood. That's the blood on one side. All right. The other side is where the vein is. This is the artery side. The arteries blow out the blood. Now there's still some artery blood over here, some here and there, but this is the same structure over here as this side, only this side is open. Arteries are open, they blow right out. I'm going to show you one that's solid gold. You see that? This here, you see that little roll, hole right there? That's this right here. At the very tip, there's a, a one empty blank spot, and then these two here are, are really, I believe, these two, where all the blood collected here. You know, it's like this side. And this side here, there's little pockets of blood here and there. Because primarily this is blood. The bone goes away. Now, it looks like the bone got infused pretty good too on this because I could see some bone, I'm seeing bony material here and there. Um, so it did penetrate the bone and that's kind of unusual. Usually it's it's the, it's in the arteries, the veins, the veins of gold. You know I say it's kind of unusual but this is a toe and this entire thing has turned into metals. These are all metals. Uh, of course, there's the last of the blood. And this died like this, going down this way. See, there's the bone. Last of the bone right there. That's all that's left for the bone. And this is all metal. Now, it's not the same metal. It's just why it's not gold, I don't know. Uh, but, um, it's obviously some kind of metal. And there's the same thing. These, there's the two lumps like this. There's where the artery is. Well, it's time to start looking into them. They're very interesting stuff as far as I'm concerned. And then you have stuff like this here. This is selenite. And this was, um, this was a tendon. You can see the tendons inside. And you can actually see the synovial sheath on top of here when you look with the microscope which they coat all the tendons with a very thin slip of um, slurpy, small leucine rich proteins. Okay, well I guess I'm going to hold it off for now and uh, I suppose. Alright, thank you. I love you all. Have a wonderful day.